Last week, I interviewed Maggie Tabra. Yes, we know she's a national icon, she's a national treasure, but how many of you know that she's actually retired? She started working when she was 14 in Adelaide and she's just stopped working, well, she says she has, now she's 74. That's 60 years, every day, working hard. So she deserves every accolade she gets. But if you look at the, the range of things that she's done, she was very beautiful, she got into modelling. From modelling, she started to put on a bit of weight, so she went into PR. From PR, she went into television. She won uh, endless Logie Awards. And then, of course, gradually, she just became part of our national consciousness. Maggie, yes. you've retired. How do you reckon you're going to go doing nothing? I mean, you've been a worker. Ever since Tall Poppies, you said, put me down as a worker. What do you think you're going to, what do you think you're going to be doing now? Maggie T insisted that I appear in the next brochure, which is the summer brochure. And I said, oh, darling, come on, I'm 75 in December. You can't have a 74-year-old model. And they said, you have to. Well, anyway, I did it last week. We had a fabulous time. It was great fun. It was great fun. I kept saying, put the black stocking over the lens. <laughs> I mean, that's why I gave up television, you know. I know. High definition television came in and I thought, this is your cue to go out. Um, you started work at 14. You finished work at 74. That's 60 years of work. How, how do you think you're ever going to spend these next years? The problem is you're a perfectionist. What are you going to do now? I went and did a course with Amanda, actually. Went to Waverley um, Art School. It was hysterical. The place drove me mad because it needed painting, it was <laughs> grubby, I couldn't bear it, it was cold. I thought, oh, I've got to get in here and smarten this place up. <laughs> and a man said to me, Mum, you're supposed to be creating wonderful, you know, artworks. What are you doing complaining about the housekeeping? I said, it's bloody awful. Anyway, the thing was that I was there and I did all that, but you know, he, the the artist, a very good artist that was instructing, and he said to me, Maggie, you can't draw a perfect like that. He said, he said, you can't. It takes years and years. And I thought, oh, Jesus, I'm off this. Oh, you thought I haven't got time? No, I haven't got time. I haven't got time. But you have got time, really. This is I'd have to be singing a chorus if this all there is, <laughs> is this all there is. I was working for someone and we did some research on it and I said, you know that most people sadly spend the last 20 years of their life being miserable. That's right. Not me. 